Hello, and welcome to Arcturian Philosophy. First, remember that Arcturian Philosophy is supported by donations. So, basically, I make my living by you guys donating to this. Um, so, you all know. Um, so, the way to donate is by going to um, PayPal and using the email address ArcturianPhilosophy at gmail.com or if you have anything you can donate like crystals or um, pillows you don't want, clothes, uh, furniture, things like that, I can really use some help right now. So thank you, I'd just like to point that out. Now this is my newer version of the video, Grays and Arcturians Meet the Parents. Um, what I learned when I was in the military psychiatric facility was that Arcturians are the evolved Zeta Reticuli. Now think about it. Think about what Arcturians look like. They have three fingers. They look kind of like blue you yell, if you think about it. Um, someone actually asked me if I would do a video about what um, is a yell. Uh, but the answer is actually pretty simple. A yell is um, a splicing between a, zeta, a classic zeta reticuli and a human. That's what a yell is, is a cross breed of those two genetics. So Arcturians basically just look like blue yell the way they are built. Um, now, I could not figure out while I was in this captivity if it was actually that um, some Arcturians from the future had attempted to come back to um, explain, this is how you save your race, guys. Um, you have to ditch this blue energy and go instead for the red energy that is of life. Um, or, I'm not sure if maybe the Zeta Reticuli had gotten smart enough to actually evolving into what looked like blue, um, you know, blue Yael. So, um, either way, I'm not quite sure what happened there, but what is clear, um, what, what, what they told me was that we, the Arcturians, are the evolved versions of the Zeta Reticuli, and, um, the reason I entitled this, um, the Greys and Arcturians Meet the Parents, was because, um, when I was in this facility, the Arcturians thought it was pretty funny when I was exposed to Zeta Reticuli technology for the first time, and so they put on the movie Meet the Parents, um, as if to say, hey, hey, look, meet our parents, uh, we the Arcturians, meet our parents, the crazy Zeta Reticuli, yep. And uh, one thing also to note, though, is that these Arcturians were in a, in a prison system. It appears that either the Greys figured out how to evolve into blue-looking yell that are part of the Arcturians, or that an Arcturian from, the Arcturian from the future had been captured and then bred. They told me it's called a farm. Um, that's one thing they said specifically, that what they are inside of is called a farm where they farm um, and genetically create um, types of Arcturians, hybrids between Yael and Arcturian, gray, um, pure gray and Arcturian, um, human and gray, which is Yael, um, Yael and human um, Yael and Arcturian, Arcturian and human, which is what I am. Um, I'm somehow part um, human, y human Arcturian. So they talked about this as being a farm that they would create these um, beings on. And what everyone tried to pass to me was a diagram that looked kind of like this. They said the prison system they were locked up in looked like this, like kind of like an ammonite um, shell. It was a, fr a frequency loop that they were stuck inside of. And you can see how 
at the very top here the, the spiral begins and then goes out and then when it stops it stops here it terminates so I could not quite figure out what the symbolism was with this um, this prison system they kept on trying to tell me that they were stuck inside of also you now if you take if you take this and you look at it like this from a frequency perspective you have at the bottom here um, I'm not sure if you guys remember the person called Arcturus Ant on YouTube, but um, with Arcturus Ant, you see there's an Arcturian Ant program, and they try to make them think that they're ants in this, like, perfect worker modality, whatever, that's all the whole matters, and so that this almost looks like an anthill, if you think about it. So I'm not sure if that's where the where the Arcturus ant um, ant program they kept trying to tell me yeah we're we're programmed to think that we're ants like uh, things things along the, that nature. So that is what the Arcturians technically are. They are the evolved Zeta Reticuli of the future, um, trying to come back and tell themselves, hey, this is what you guys need to do. But there's been some infighting, you see because the Zeta Reticuli were not exactly very fond of the idea of doing what the Arcturians said because there's such a, such a gap. You see, the Zeta Reticuli, they drink blood. They do all kinds of creepy stuff, and the Arcturians would never dream of that. And so uh, there's been kind of some, some disagreements among how to go about evolving. It's just, it's been very difficult for them to agree on what to do because the Arcturians are vegans. Um, they would never dream of killing something, you know, or trying to drink its blood. Um, and it's been difficult with the Arcturians that are inside of this prison system. Some, most of them are resistant to everything going on, but some of them are a little bit too, too messed up. That they actually like what's going on. They've been a little bit too programmed. So they have, be they have become subject to programming as well. So this is another video explaining um, Arcturians and basically what, what they are. We're the evolved Zeta Reticuli. So if you are part Arcturian, you can be um, uh, happy knowing that you are helping along the um, continuation of the race of Zeta Reticuli, because if you felt a strange, um, oh, like, like a strange sympathy towards the Zeta Reticuli or the AL, or you thought, you thought to yourself, oh, I wonder what they're going to do, even though they act kind of evil, that's what that is. If you're part Arcturian, that's, that's, it's that part of the genetic coming out with you knowing who your family or your relatives technically are and wanting to help them. So, with this, I leave you on Arcturian philosophy. Our um, Yael and Grey relatives, they are kind of weird and a little bit masochistic, I think, at times, but they're our family and we need to do the most that we can to help and assist them. I will talk to you indeed later, so please have a wonderful Sunday.